what do you do when your battle chooses you? What do you do when something shows up on your doorstep that you did not directly cause, choose, or definitely anticipate? Life is not always easy. In fact, some of you today, you're here and you're going through the toughest season of your life. There will be seasons where we will suffer. There will be seasons of real pain. And the question is, how will you respond in those moments? Life is hard sometimes. Easy, it's not an option. But it's worth fighting. It's worth believing. It's worth giving yourself a chance. It's worth mustering yourself up, standing up inside yourself. It's worth fighting relentlessly, never giving up. It's worth it. You can do it. You can do it. There's problems that we go through that cause stress, worry, anxiety, and fear, but you might be in the battle of your life. I want to encourage you. It's not about what's happening around you. It's always about what's happening inside of you. Just because you feel afraid doesn't mean you have to be afraid. Just because you feel discouraged doesn't mean you have to be discouraged. Just because you have fear doesn't mean fear has to have you. The sentence out of your mouth is a story that you are putting out. I'm not going to make it. I quit. Let's get a divorce. Business is never coming back. We've lost too many people. I've made too many mistakes. I'm a failure. Nobody can help me. I've done too many bad things. I don't know what's coming out of your mouth, but it's a death sentence. And as you continue to confess it, and as you continue to declare it, well, don't be surprised when it becomes true in your life. We have to make sure that whenever I feel, when I think a death sentence, I must speak a life sentence. Oh, I'm feeling the sentence of death. I'm feeling the thoughts of anxiety. I'm feeling the thoughts that I'm done. I feel like I've been used and it hurts and it's difficult, but when that happens, I start speaking out a life sentence. No, I'm just gonna keep showing up. No, I'm gonna get back up. The righteous man, he falls seven times, but he gets back up. Never give up, never give in. Hello beauties. Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, Jessica Key would like to welcome you. First off, I just want to say for all of my repeated subscribers who've been rocking with your girl thus far, I would like to say thank you for your support. And I would also like to say for my new subscribers to uh, welcome to the channel and welcome to the family. Okay. Today is Sunday, June 11. And uh, it was it was a rainy day this morning. It was a rainy day this morning. Um, so we didn't go to church. So I decided to stay home and watch it on television. And also, me and the kitties is getting ready to go out and get some uh, dinner. But we have to find a place that's uh, pet friendly because we're trying to bring Queenie with us today so that she can get out and run some of that anxiety off. And to be honest with you, the, the dog love getting dressed, love going outside. So as of now, I'm just sitting up in here and I'm just getting myself together, trying to apply some lashes by wearing glasses. Ain't working. But you know your girl getting up in age, the eyes ain't as good as they used to be. So, let's see. Let's see. And I guess some of y'all are saying, like, why are you applying your lashes when you have a whole daughter? That's a lash tech. Good question. Because she down there getting herself together. And that means 
I have to uh, apply these lashes myself, y'all. Which is okay. What y'all think? I do the best I can. But y'all know I don't care. Because I'm going to snatch these off anyway. I'm just trying to look presentable to go in these streets. I'm just trying to be presentable. Okay. Well. That's that. I'm not doing too much. I'm just keeping it very simple. I'm putting on a very simple outfit. I'm just keeping it simple. That, that, that's it. And uh, we going out and enjoy this beautiful Sunday that the Lord has made. So I'll see you guys back in a minute. Bye-bye. Okay, y'all. So here it is, my simple look for the day. I just simply, like I said, threw on my little wig. It was straight. I just put a few little curls and stuff in the front of it. Um, I got my my little earrings on. I got my JBW watch. Of course, y'all know I got my favorite tennis shoe designer, um, Anthony Wayne tennis shoes. You have to have a small feet to be able to pull these off. And I got a small feet, and I love them because they different, they weird, and you ain't about to find the whole world with them on. And I just got me some black and gold tights. Some black and gold tights or uh, whatever. Your girl slimming down because I've been hitting the gym, y'all. Like I said, I've been on this journey trying to get that marriage weight off me. So... I'm starting to see some progress without having to wear body shapers. This is all me natural right here. And then I'm in this old, tall, elongated mirror. This mirror go all the way up to my roof, y'all. This is a very, 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 very long mirror and stuff. So, you know, sometimes these mirrors can have you looking more slender. Or some of them can have you looking more wider or what have you. But I think this is kind of like a true accurate look of me or uh, whatever for right now i'm very satisfied with the progress and things yeah so i gotta get this summer body together birthday coming up don't know what i'm gonna do like i mentioned earlier but um we're gonna all uh, cross that bridge when it's time to get there so right now we're going to get some grub and we're going out to eat and i'll check back with you guys a little later yeah yeah Queenie, you gonna do an outfit check? Show them what you got. What you got on today? Show them what you got on today. Come on. Gucci dress. See, I got my Gucci dress on. I got my yellow bow ties on, and I'm about to go eat me some chicken at Cheddar's. So I'm gonna eat me some chicken at Cheddar's. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about this. So we going to Cheddar's. It's a good camera. Where I'm going? Where I'm going? Keep straight. Use the right lane to take exit 69 e toward State Route 279. Use the right lane to keep right toward Beacon and International. You heard of? There's rain on it. Got to lock it already? Wait. Somebody, somebody don't like being in sh in the basket. Thank you. Up the way, you can kill my mother.
Appetizers we just order quickly. And, um, they have some delicious honey mm -hmm. butter croissants here. I don't need to be eating it, but it was delicious. Melting your mouth, freshly warm out the uh, oven. So as we just sitting here waiting on her to come back so we can put our real order in, we just sitting back overlooking the mm -hmm. menu because this is my first time here. And um, the food is your oh, simple, you basic know. stuff, but. Um, like I said, we had to come to a dog-friendly restaurant due to the fact that we wanted to bring my baby out today. And um, it looks, it's a, the night, the ambiance is very nice in here, you guys. So, y'all may already know about Cheddar's. I'm the one don't know about it, so. I'm not putting nobody on something they already know, because like I'm saying, y'all probably already know about it. I say it correctly, Cheddar's. And stuff, but um, they have your, you know, your regular spinach dip, your your fried foods and stuff, your ribs, your shrimp baskets, and your salads and stuff like that. Your salmon. Like I said, the menu is not very large, but um, it's doable. It's very doable for you know if you're balling on a budget today, which we all are. And um, yeah, so we're just sitting here just waiting for the later to come back with our food and stuff like that so I can let you guys know if this is a 10 out of 10 or uh, whatever the ratings is for me because the girls love it so I'm here to make my own judgment. Same thing. That's fine. Yeah, the same thing. They jumbo shrimp? Nah, they're little shrimp. They're not, they're not too little though. They, they they're medium size. Medium size. Mm -hmm. Well, you want the same thing? Well, the same thing. Toss the honey pot as well? Yes, ma'am. Can I just have the honey chicken tenders? I don't want the chicken tenders. What drink were you looking at? Just frozen Texas. Frozen Texas swirl. Do we have alcohol in it? Yes. Okay. For $6? Mm -hmm. And it come in a, in a big little. Yeah, it's real cute too. We don't have no watermelon, so it's not going to come in a watermelon inside of it, but it's still going to have the watermelon in there for you. I want my piece of bread. It sounds good. Ate the whole thing? Girl, I ate the whole thing. I ain't had bread in two weeks. I'm sorry. I know you lied. <laughs> you been dumb. Don't no worry. I'm, I'm, I'm a detox. Question. One more question with that squirrel. Did you want to do it? Um, did you want salt or sugar on your rim? Sugar. Give me the salt. Oh. Salt. Heard you. I'm going to yeah, get that in you guys, all right? Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Come on. That's why we don't limit it now. Look. I know I just told y'all that I was doing very well. 
in my training. Tonight, I will unplug the guts. Please know it. But that bread is sinful. That bread here is sinful. I don't think I'll be returning. I don't think I'll be returning due to the fact that they have oncoming bread that's warm, <laughs> delicious. I, I, I can't return when it's a restaurant. It's like that, you know. Why? Have self control. No, I don't want self control when it's delicious like that because you live once. You understand what I'm saying? It's okay to have self control. But it's also important to not overindulge because it messes up everything that you worked hard for. So that means all my gains that I made last week, made last week, I can mess it up right here at this table today in this one setting. You know what I'm saying? So you have to know the importance of that. And for me, knowing the importance of that, I won't be returning. So I'm trying to order Miss Queenie something to eat so she loves chicken okay do you want to do a kid's tender yes yeah, let's do a kid's let's do let's do that and um okay and your sides what are your choices for your sides so we have broccoli corn corn off the cob so it's just regular corn by itself we have loaded baked potatoes with with broccoli i mean ooh, not with broccoli with bacon bits and without bacon bits you can do loaded mashed potatoes you can do fries with um cheese and bacon bits you can do we have broccoli we have greens we have sweet carrots Greens? What you mean greens? What kind of greens? Um, like green beans. Like okay. Give her some broccoli. Give her some. She is not going to eat no broccoli. It's, it's steamed broccoli. It's probably not. You could just bring a steamed broccoli because I'll, I'll eat it. Okay, so steamed broccoli it. and then the kids' tender. Okay, yes. I'm going to bring it in for you. Thank you. Okay, You're thank you, babe. The oven is in the bread right now. And the, the bread, bread is in, in the, the oven. oven. <laughs> so it should be coming out shortly, okay? Yes, yes. ma'am. Okay, all right. Heard you. So we just had to, we had forgot to order Queen of some food. So basically she was going to be eating off our plate. No ma'am. So she have her own kids, chicken platter, and um. So I'm not eating no more bread. She wanted to bring some more bread out. I'm done with the bread because it's sinful. Because I'm going to leave the bread alone because I got me a strawberry swirl drink coming. But I have my, my lemon water. Wow. That man gonna work out tomorrow. Oh, he most definitely gonna work me out tomorrow. <laughs> Go for us coming, man. Try to for everybody. I'm down. Keep holding up on these little fries. Just pass the plate on. Right now we have a table full of appetizers. It's finished up. Yeah. What is this? Salsa. I thought you had. No, we, we left the quesadilla alone. I forgot. This way, right? No. That ain't quesadilla. Quesadilla white. Any one of these? It's sweet. Mm. That was the fat girl dip. That's why I'm going for this finish. Mm. Mm. You're eating it? Can she eat the crust? I say don't eat the crust. No, she got it all in her bowl.
chicken up uh, so that she can eat it without the crust, y'all. So, I am about to dance to my own food. As y'all can see, it looks pleasant and pleasing. Something, something that I will regret later. Okay, let's see. Bon appetit. No. I like it. It's red sauce. I'm supposed to have Alfredo. Come on, Rico. Alfredo ain't red. Well, you guys, I had to send my food back due to the fact that it was a misunderstanding with me reading the menu. I was assuming that I was getting um, white Alfredo. When, um, you got to remember, we're in Georgia. So, their definition of Alfredo sometimes can be just a, a tad bit different from what we originally look at as uh, Alfredo. It came back out, you know, red. So, it kind of tasted like ravioli. I don't want to disrespect the restaurant, but it was very good. But the, the sauce tastes like a ravioli base. So, I had to, you know, bring it back and um, find me some white Alfredo with shrimp. Now, this was supposed to be my cheat day, but I done got full off this one beverage of uh, strawberry swirl, and then I had three, two croissants, three. How many croissants I had? Six. Three croissants, and then I had some spinach dip, so I done got full. So my entree is basically a waste, because I know that tomorrow my training starts back, and I ain't gonna be able to eat it. So, like the kids that had it, you know. Once again, they won with my food. Queenie has really enjoyed herself, y'all. Queenie, Queenie, tell me, you, did you tell them how you enjoyed your food? <laughs> Queen, Queen. She's so damn nosy. Queenie, did you tell them how you enjoyed your food? Look, girl. Tell them how you enjoyed your food. I ain't got time for her. She, she, she the type of person, well, she's the type of animal. Forgive me, because I have to keep remembering that she's not a person. She's a damn dog. And this damn dog, no. You understand what I'm saying? Anybody who have a dog that own a dog, y'all know. These dogs know. They get what they want, and then they don't want no more. So I have the cook remaking it, so I just found okay. out, Andre's my third day here too, so okay. I just found out that we can make the New Orleans pasta with Alfredo, so I have them doing that in the back for you. Oh, well, thank you. Y'all hear that? The waiter has made a made my work. Okay. Yes, thank you, baby. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you. So, good news, you guys. She came back and told me that, you know, this was her third day here, so she's new. This is what is my first time here. Like I said, my girls has been here several times. So she have the, the cook to um, make it up the way that I like. That's just the favor of God, because I'm his child. And everything I ask for, I get. But we gonna see how this come out, so stay tuned. I said it now, I'm say it again. What you got on, Lila? Give me my stuff. My what type of lipstick that is? I'm gonna tell you. That is pretty. Mm -hmm. So what is like a new? It's butter bomb gloss. So Let me Ruby, see. Give me some. Some Ruby Kisses. Let me cut my light back on. Hold up. Ooh, what a and difference. It's called Life of Virgin. Let me see. Life of Virgin. Life of Virgin. And Tasha, where did you purchase this from? This good enough. I stole it. Oh. Really? On camera? I bought it for $5. Never, not for that. You put too much on it. You can put this with clear gloss. What y'all think? And it smells good. What is it? Let me see. Yeah, it's so skinny. It's, it's like, it's so just keep doing it. Mm-hmm. Then, then. Yeah, cute. Why you get it back? 
belongs to her. It belongs to her. Exactly. Why you how you can get it out my purse anyway? You don't take more smear. I gotta go black when I go home. See the stuff I'm I ain't doing that today. You dumb. When you gonna do it? Wrong. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And they still fuss like they chill. I woke yeah, up at nine o'clock this morning and I was I went to church by myself. Okay, that's good. Pray yeah, the Lord. She went to church by herself because and she ain't wake nobody else up and she I was so tired. I, well she ain't woke me up. Because you were tired. I, yes. You, I, you, you would say, I'm going, I'm too tired. Let me say this. You ain't too tired for the other club. Let me say this. Club. Girl, what club? What club? Yeah. Got on two clubs. Exactly. No what last time I've been to somebody's club? I don't do clubs. It's not that you But the, 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 the moral Nigga, to the she, story she, 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 is this. Is. I woke up like 1.30 p.m. That's when I woke up. 1 30 p.m. I didn't go to sleep till what five o'clock in the morning up just doing stuff taking care of business you know what I'm saying but our house is we're late nighters so one o'clock and two o'clock in the morning is so normal for us and I, it's, it's so normal for us anybody else would be like in a fifth dimension of sleep stage when we wide awoke like it's one o'clock in the Cooking afternoon. We frying fish and chicken and shit that time in the morning. So <laughs> we always have been night hopes. So with that being said is I went to bed very late and I woke up too late for to go to church and then what I believe it was the rain. Mm -hmm. It was raining and that just relaxed me even more. Till I just stood asleep and stuff. So I just got up and um did my Sunday reset. You know, wash my bed, made it, and got dressed and came out and um, had some food after I did my um. You could be a poet, son, cause your your demeanor after, is a poet. Whatever. It do. After I'm um. In the rain. <laughs> <laughs> sitting in the rain. The rain made me tired. <laughs> I'm just talking. What are you talking about? Talk right yes. What you mean talk right? She doing this word, look. Yeah, because um, the news was so sad. I'm like, oh, God. But, but that's what Wait, what? Like that. The news but, was sad. But just now, she just did all that. What you mean the news was sad when I was talking about Miss Janet? No, you just do something when you talk like that. I'm talking. You see, that's the difference Remember when... Remember your first live? You oh, my God. I, I, I was definitely threw that away. You threw it away? I threw, what? You threw it far it? away. You deleted it? Deleted it far away. Let me just say this. See, what they don't understand is that when you get to be a certain age, your whole demeanor change, your bars change, your attitude change, your walk change. And if it don't change, that's a problem. I'm going to just leave that with you. If you are the same person... I will be 51 years old this coming 21st of this month. My daughters will be 27 years old and 27. My baby is about to be 24 years old in July. If you are the same person that you were 10 years ago, that's a problem. That's a serious problem. But I'm gonna leave that here in Cheddar's. And I'm waiting on my good food. I'll see y'all in a minute. Okay, y'all. The lady has brought my food back. Now, this is what I was expecting from Jump. But I'm full now. I don't have no room for it, but let me show y'all what it is. Look at this, y'all. Now, this, oh my God. Yes, white pasta. Not no. Not no red pasta. We don't do red pasta. We don't do red pasta. The ravioli stuff, I don't do. So, forgive me if I keep looking. If I put all these on my mouth, y'all gotta give me a thousand dollars a piece. Look at her. She she wanna play games. What have to give you a thousand dollars a piece to put a bunch of fries in your mouth? Kick rocks. Look, you can't even, your mouth's so small, 
My daughter been wanting lip fillers for like how many years? Okay. Again, you're talking about lips. Show them your lips. Show them your lips. He is little. Show them your lips. Damn. She been wanting lip fillers for so long. So where well, even when she trying to open up her mouth, she can't even put fries in her mouth. But her mama, on the other hand, got the a wide mouth. They used to tell me I, I look like Gina off Martin because my mouth is so wide. And that other actress, y'all know her very well. Um, she play, no, not Taraji. Not to not um cooking. It's the still I look like cooking too off for Empire. But um the young lady who played in, in Friday when she was Felicia. like, You ain't got the lie, Craig, oh, yeah. you ain't got the lie. No. You know she got a big mouth too. Speaking of her mouth. Oh yeah. She yeah, have a big mouth. Yeah. yeah, she have a big mouth as well. So they used to always tell me I have a big mouth like them them two young ladies. And I, I, I can't argue with them. But considering I made a set of little lips. Kind of surprising, but we're about to head out. We're about to head out, y'all. We had a great time at Cheddar's, so I'll see you guys back at the house. Okay, you guys, we have made it home from um, Cheddar's. Let me say this about Cheddar's. The vibe was excellent. <sighs> Chill, dim lights. And then y'all guys know I just have a lovely time just spending time with my kids. You know what I'm saying? So whenever they're not too busy and whenever they have time to spend with mom, I try to take advantage of that because you know these kids today, they're on the go. And for those who don't know, I have two grown girls that are 26, about to be 27. And I have a baby boy, my only son. He's about to be 24 in July. Yes, yeah, so um, I have grown kids. So like I say, um, when I have time to spend with them or when they have time to give me, I, t I love taking advantage of that. So y'all know Queenie Beanie is my baby. Look how she done came here and then stripped her dress off, child. She got her hair hanging down. She was blowing in the wind like Beyonce. But um, I got my package finally came. My package finally came. Check it out. This. Y'all know what this orange bag is when you see it. Trust me, I know you know what this orange bag is when you see it. So, I schemed through it a little bit. Actually, it's three bags like that because I'm going to be doing a wig review also. So, I bought a couple of wigs and a ponytail or two, you know, for my work page. Because y'all guys know that I have a second page. It's a work page and stuff so i'll be doing a wig review uh for that one i don't look too pleased y'all but i'll walk you guys um through because y'all gonna come with me walking through these items i'm gonna assume these items are for china considering on the time that it took i'm just trying to find out what the hype is about this t move to move or whatever but from the looks of it I'm not too pleased with the quality. But then again, I could have been shopping with the wrong vendors. So if you guys have like any information, you can drop in the link, leave a comment below to let me know. Okay, well, Q, look, shop with this one, shop with that one. I don't know uh, what type of stuff to purchase from them versus, you know, because I needed a lot of sundresses from my vacation that I keep pushing back 
for Miami because all kind of other stuff keep coming up. But I can get to Miami anytime because I own, you know, weeks and stuff at resorts. So I can get there anytime. But it seems like every time that I book it, something always come up to where I have to go home because, you know, certain events be a little bit more important. But I'm, I'm not putting it off not another longer. So I ordered me a bunch of dresses, well, a few dresses from Timu. And from the looks of it, they're okay. But they'll fit the purpose for what I want them for, you know, just to lounge around, walk on the beach, uh, uh, what have you. So I want you guys to know to um be looking forward to that Timu Hall review. I was about to say it wrong. Timu Hall. So I'll be dropping that, um, you know, real soon, right after this vlog. So I just like to thank you guys for hanging out with me and the girls and my son and Queenie um, while we had dinner and on this reset day because tomorrow I go all in. Tomorrow is um my training. I train three days out the week with a marvelous trainer and stuff. I was so hurting last week. To, I... I I apologize for picking up this camera so late, y'all, because I, I just had to get some rest. I had, look, I ain't no spring chicken no more. So how I used to exercise versus now is two different ball games. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead on. I'm going to end this vlog here. And if you guys like hanging out with me and my kids and just hanging with your girl, Jazzy Q, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget to like, comment, and, descri and subscribe. Not describe. You see, that's that New Orleans slang, that tongue, little, 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 get in the way. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And come hang out with your girl and have a good time with me. You might learn something messing around with me. And I'm going to leave it there. So I'll talk to you guys soon. See you later. Bye bye. I was in your wrong way. I'm safe forever like a boy. Man, I'm Rambo in the yo. I'm building a rich like John Jack. I'm Camo in the yo. He stops King Clark me now. Dad, you wish I was your pound pick. Boy, you know I look good at four. Wish I was your baby mom. Want me to go around and give you good karma. But no, we escalate up in this bitch like elevators. Of course, sometimes shit go down when it's a billion.